I'm not gonna argue with you. If a dog is gonna wear pants, it would wear them on its back legs. What? Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Sorry, uh, you've caught me off guard. You see, uh, Cars Guide have put this version of Richard Berry in this little part of the internet, just waiting for someone to come along. And when they do, my job is to tell you all about the Suzuki S-Cross Turbo. The problem is, a lot of people don't seem to know about this car. And it can be a, it can be a while between, between visitors. Unlike its rival, the Toyota CHR, the video over there has got over 500,000 views. The Richard Berry there is run off his feet. It's probably why he walks funny. Another rival to the S-Cross Turbo is the Honda HRV. Don't even bother going to that video. The Richard Berry there is, he's a bit weird. He's wearing a Batman outfit. And then there's the Hyundai Kona. Uh, yeah, give that one a miss too. The Richard Berry there is trying way too hard. Very, very zany. Anyway, the Suzuki S-Cross Turbo. Now, from the back, the design is clean and neat. It looks just like every other small SUV on the road. Moving down the car, we have 17 inch alloy wheels. We've got this tough looking cladding, which just looks tough. And then we get to the front and things get really unique with that big metal mouth with all those teeth. Actually, it's plastic. Let's get into the car. Okay, so there are actually two different types of S-Cross. You've got this one, which is the S-Cross Turbo, and then you've got the really fancy one, which is the S-Cross Turbo Prestige. Now, don't even bother with the Turbo Prestige because all that really gets above this Turbo is leather seats. These cloth ones are fine. That Turbo Prestige also gets rear parking sensors, but in this one, you've got a perfectly good reversing camera. And the Turbo Prestige also comes with LED headlights, but the Turbo still comes with heaps of standard features. You've got that great screen, you've got sat nav, your reversing camera, it even comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, there's dual zone climate control. Okay, things that I like. The proximity unlocking, brilliant. And so is the push button start, also great. The reversing camera, the picture quality in the reversing camera, it's exceptional. Like it's spookily clear. It's better than my TV picture at home. Also amazing. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, both standard, both really, really good. And some car companies will actually make you pay for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, things that I don't like. I don't like how cheap it feels in here. There's way too much hard plastic everywhere, like on the dashboard and on the glove box and on the doors. Also, the stereo doesn't have a volume control knob, just this swipey thing, which is really hard to use. How crazy is that? All right, Barry, buckle up. We're gonna go for a drive. So, what is it like on the road? That six-speed auto is really good. In fact, it's one of my favorite things about this car. It's old school tech, but it's good tech. It's a smooth shifting transmission as well. It seems to lock in a lot better than a CVT. The engine, not a lot of grunt, but plenty. It's more than enough to sort of move quickly if I have to. The ride in the S-Cross Turbo is, is comfortable, it's composed. Steering is good, a turning circle feels good as well. And fuel economy. Around town, our fuel economy has been 10.5 litres per 100. That's without any highway driving. Get out on the highway, you'll see it drop easily to around about seven or six. Okay, safety. Now, this car scored the maximum five-star ANCAP rating in 2013. So, while in 2013 it was as safe as you could get, safety's come a long way in five years. And it would not get, would be very unlikely to get that five-star rating today. It doesn't have advanced safety kit like AEB, that's autonomous emergency braking or lane keeping assistance. Those things, those advanced technologies are on the Kona. They are, you know, you can get them on most grades of the HRV and you can get them on the CHR. This car doesn't have that advanced tech. You need to know that. Also, visibility. Visibility is, is really good as well. The blind spots are very, very non-intrusive. Visibility all around is fantastic. Visibility out the front is good too. I don't know whether you've noticed it or not yet. There's the letters SX 
and the number 4, SX4. Now, it used to be called an SX4 before they named it the S-Cross, but for some reason, they have left the SX4 badge on back when it was once a four-wheel drive. Now, they're not anymore. The, the ones that we get, they're all front-wheel drives only. The negatives. The Suzuki S-Cross Turbo does not handle as well as a Hyundai Kona. It doesn't handle as well as a CHR. It doesn't handle as well as a Honda HRV. It's kind of like two-minute noodles. You know how you cook two-minute noodles and you eat them and they do the job and you feel full and you feel satisfied, but you're not gonna call anyone and tell them how good the experience was? That's kind of like this. The Suzuki S-Cross Turbo is the two-minute noodles of the car world. It does the trick, you get to where you're going reliably every single time, but it's the destination, not the journey when it comes to the S-Cross. Um, it is the two-minute noodles of the car world. So it must be practical then. And it is. Check out this storage. That bottle holder in the door is enormous. You've got a giant hidey hole here underneath the dashboard. You've got a really deep center console storage bin here with a USB port. You've got two cup holders and footrest. All right. Look at the size of that bottle holder. That's a back door bottle holder and it's enormous. Now, this sits in my driving position. I'm 191 centimeters tall, which is really pretty tall. And I've got that much room thanks to the way this seat's designed. It's got like a carved out seat back. Plenty of room. Headroom is also really good back here too. In this fold down armrest are two cup holders as well. Let me show you the boot. 430 litres. Now, that's a tiny bit smaller than the Honda HRV's boot, but a lot bigger than the Hyundai Kona's. Under here, storage to smuggle people across the border, and under here, a space saver spare wheel. Also, storage either side too. Okay, it's a Suzuki, which means it's really cheap to buy, right? Well, kind of. Depending on where you live and when you're watching this, it lists for around about $28,000 which is also sort of neck and neck with its rivals too. But one thing Suzuki is known for is its drive away deals. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Oh my God, Barry. I am so sorry, Barry. I know that keeps happening, but it, it will not happen again. I promise, I promise you. Well, well that's it. That's the Suzuki S-Cross Turbo. Sure, it's not as premium feeling as some of its rivals, but it's easy to drive. It's practical, it's well-priced, and uh, the turbo is the best value in the range. Ta-da! That's it. That's the, that's the review. All right, well, back to positions, Barry. Okay, Barry, here we were. Right about here. You ready to go? Okay, what? I talk too much. Oh, you are unbelievable. No, we've been through this. No, I am not gonna argue with you. If a dog was to wear pants, it would wear them on its back legs. What? Someone's coming, someone's coming.